The Great Florida Riverway is a treasure trove of natural and human history. The Ocklawaha River we know today is a young river, emerging near the end of the last ice age, only 17,000 years ago. Yet its natural history spans more than 34 million years, back to a time when Florida was an underwater world full of marine life, including large crocodilians, primitive whales, and a myriad of invertebrates. Today, Florida is known for its rich fossil deposits, especially of mammals from the Pleistocene, including giant sloths, glyptodonts, saber cats, and mammoths. Many of these fossils have been found along the Ocklawaha River watershed. The riverway also tells a story of a rich human history. The first nomadic hunters arrived here 14,000 years ago. Later, various indigenous groups, including the Timucuan speaking Aquara people, made their home in this rich watershed. European settlers from Spain, France, and England also colonized parts of the riverway, pressuring the indigenous tribes. In 1770, the Creek Indians from Georgia, the Choctaw from Mississippi, and other tribes displaced from their native lands by European settlers came to Florida. By the late 1700s, several early Seminole towns already existed in the vicinity of the Ocklawaha. Around that same time, William Bartram described the natural richness of the region and documented the history of the local tribes. In the late 1800s, the steamboat became the shipping method of choice, transporting citrus and wood north towards Palatka and Jacksonville. The steamer also brought with it passengers to various cities along the water route, becoming the roots of wintertime tourism in Florida. By the early 1920s, the steamboats had been replaced by the automobiles. In the 1930s, regional politicians lobbied the government to fund the construction of a canal across Florida as part of an economic recovery program. But it wasn't until 1963 that the money was allocated for the construction project that would change the face of the historic Ocklawaha, the Cross Florida Barge Canal. Engineers had long dreamed of a cross Florida canal. The early Spanish considered it almost 400 years ago. Andrew Jackson recognized its defense potential. At long last, all the state and federal agencies involved unanimously agreed upon one route, one plan, a toll-free lock-type barge canal, higher than sea level. Ladies and gentlemen, it pleases me to report to the people of Florida and the nation that the long-sought cross-Florida barge canal is now well underway. They come up with this idea, this plan to turn into the cross-Florida barge canal. In the 1960s, at a time flush with liberalism, we can do anything, we can put a man on the moon, we can reshape Florida, so we might as well build this canal. It starts in 1964. It seems to be going great guns, everybody's excited, and then people begin to raise environmental questions about it. Not just conservation, but land preservation and the fact that the Ocklawaha River particularly is a wild and natural resource that is irreplaceable and irreplicable. If we destroy this, we're going to destroy something that we can never have again. The damage that was done is best seen when the reservoir is drawn down and that kind of ancient forest, that ghost forest is there and you can see those trees that are all cut at the same level. It's a really eerie sight but it's a really kind of sad sight to see what had to be done in order to make something that never was completed. But there's still remnants of it infrastructure-wise, particularly on the Alcohol, especially the Rodman Dam. People have been fighting to get the dam down for as long as the dam has been up. 
So why is it still up here? Every governor, with the exception of Scott, has said take it down. And that's Democrat as well as Republican. It, half of the population or more of Putnam County has not been alive when that river flowed freely. So this is all they know. So if this is all you know, this is natural. And you know, 50 years, that, that's a long time.